Hey, I'm Skyler. If you feel that you want to back up your iPhone to your computer rather than to iCloud, you'll need a couple different things. Your computer, your iPhone, and your sync cable. So let's just take the sync cable now and plug it into the computer. You'll also require iTunes, the latest version preferably, installed on your computer, whether it's a Mac or PC. I'll take the other end of my sync cable and plug it into the phone. Now, in iTunes, I see right immediately a sync starts. You can turn that feature off so that it doesn't synchronize automatically. I like it that way because it's the only reason I ever plug in my phone. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, I see iPhone, so I'm going to click that, and it takes me to the summary page. Down here, you'll see that it's set to automatically back up to iCloud. Right below that option, says this computer. And if I check that little box off, it says a full backup of your iPhone will be stored on this computer. Now, the disadvantage to that is that you have to plug in your iPhone in order for it to back up. Or if you turned on Wi-Fi iTunes syncing, it will do it as soon as you log on to the same Wi-Fi network with both devices. So it's not a it's not necessarily a bad option, it's just a different kind of option. Like, for example, if I'm away at a hotel, then my iPhone isn't going to back up if I am not near my computer. And whereas if I were using iCloud, it would. However, when things are backed up to iCloud, they are not encrypted to the same level that they're encrypted when you back them up to your Mac. And if your purpose is security, uh, then you may want to check off this option this computer, and then click Encrypt iPhone Backup. Now, what you have to understand about encrypting the backup is that if you forget the password, then you won't be able to access that backup in the future, even through some third-party means like iPhone Backup Extractor or um, by hiring a third-party consultant, something of that nature. You won't have luck in retain or reclaiming, retrieving, extracting data from that backup, which is the whole point of encrypting it. So, now that I've shown you what options to select, once you turn those options on, just click the button down here, which is Sync, and the system which manages backups will begin to copy all of the data from iPhone to your computer. You also have to be aware of how much space is required by the backup on your computer, because with a 32 gigabyte iPhone that's completely full, you can imagine that's a whole lot of stuff that's going to be stored on your computer. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.